Happy Wednesday evening. Welcome back to the Erect in Our Investment. All right, guys, let's talk about fixed versus a float. There's a lot of chatter about that right now. Let's let's look at that for a second. Let's look at how the US dollar's position, what it does. Okay, and then because actually, guys, right now the US dollar and the Erect in R are structured the exact same. So let's look at this. It says there are two types of currency exchange rates that are still in existence, floating and fixed. Major currencies such as the Japanese yen, the euro, and the U.S. dollar are floating currencies. Their values change according to how the currency trades on foreign exchange and forex and so forth. So what that means, guys, if like if you were to go, there's different websites you can go to to actually see the U.S. dollar. Okay, the U.S. dollar is simply it, it's it's traded. Okay, and it it's it's based on market demand for it. Market demand due to supply and demand will either drive the rate up or down. Guys, if you were to watch the Iraq dinar on XE.com, you're going to see it do the exact same thing. Supply and demand for the Iraq dinar will move it up and down. It on XE.com, the Iraq dinar does not sit flat. It, the value changes up and down, again, due to market demand of supply and demand. So what I'm telling you guys is I just factually proved to you that the Iraq dinar currently does float. So all the chatter you're hearing about how it how it's going to be converted to floating, it already is and it already does float, okay? it it The, the value of it, if you watch it on XE.com, it will go up and down. It, it does not sit at the at the exact same number the entire time. It, it cycles, shifts up and down again due to supply and demand. It's it's a market-driven float. That's where it's at. That's most likely where it's going to stay, structured the exact same as the dollar even after the rate change. God bless you guys. Have a great day.